In this lecture, we're going to discuss the concept of call and return and the use of stacks and the stack pointer to support calling and returning. This lecture will be divided into two parts. Uh, the first part will we'll go over the concept of call and return and stack, and the second part will look at the RAT CPU architecture and the areas specifically around the stack pointer, the scratch pad, and of course the program counter. A little nomenclature about the stack is in order. A stack is just a data structure in our CPU, and it's a last in, first out buffer. We push things onto the stack, they end up on the top of the stack, and then we pop things off of the stack um, with the last item pushed being the, the item that is popped when you perform a pop. Um, the stack pointer simply just points at a location in memory, and that is where all the information about where pushes and pops occur with respect to memory. We have a little uh, example of uh, the stack and the stack pointer, um, which is directly from the Mealy course reader uh, provided for CPE 233 students. If you'll notice this first image of the stack over here, we see the stack with nothing written in it, and our stack pointer is at hex 8000. In the RAT CPU, the stack pointer um, originally starts at hex 0 and the stack ends uh, down at hex FF. So this example here has a, a higher number of addresses in the memory but the, the concepts are the same. If you'll notice in this example right here um, after one push the stack pointer was decremented from hex 8000 to hex 7FFF and the item 34 ends up being pushed at that decremented stack pointer location. Uh, this, this middle one here shows three more pushes. Uh, the stack pointer has been decremented to 7FFC and you see that little, the little arrow right up here that represents the last item pushed on the stack which is the 17. So the next image here shows the stack after one pop and the end result after the one pop is that the 17 would have been retrieved from the stack. The stack pointer incremented from 7FFC to 7FFD. Uh, and the final image over here shows three more pops with, excuse me, two more pops with the stack pointer incremented by two more and the stack pointer left at, um, at 7FFF which was that 34 which was pushed originally. If one more pop were to occur that 34 would be retrieved or popped from the stack and the stack pointer would go back to hex 8000. Now this slide just shows that how your your stack pointer um, and and the stack when we pop things from the stack they're not necessarily actually removed we just remove the stack we just um, increment the stack pointer and that uh, the item that was popped although it's is is read from the stack it's still left there and would be rewritten if something else was pushed onto the stack or rewritten over I should say. It's important when we uh, deal with the stack that we avoid underflow and overflow situations. Underflow occurs when we've popped more items from the stack than we've pushed and overflow occurs if we push more items on the stack than, uh, than we have memory space. And anytime you end up in a situation like this you generally end up with a failed program and a, a halted or lost system which would need to be rebooted. So the stack is especially useful for the purposes of um, calling subroutines and returning from subroutines because when we call a subroutine we're going to just take the address that we're going to want to return to and push it on the stack for later retrieval. Uh, this concept of subroutines is useful because what it allows us to do is take code which would be reused, reused within your program, write it in one location, and then call that uh, code from its single location every time we want to use it. So for example, in this uh, we have right here, the program flow goes from A, executes the code at X, through the code at B, executes the code at X, and through the code at C. The problem here would be if the code at X was repeated, um, then we would have to uh, maintain it in two locations if we ever needed to change it and it takes up more space, etc. So it's much more advanced.